I'm Connor Malig, and I'm going to talk to you about learning to fail. But before I get started, I want to show you a little clip of me drumming when I was about three years old. So as you can all see, I have been a musician for a long time, about 12 years in fact. And I've always loved playing music, but it's been hard for me to play, especially lately since high school has gotten so rigorous. I haven't had the opportunity to play very much. So when Mr. Provenzano introduced this topic of 20 time to me, I was freaking out. Because this gave me the, the chance to do something that I loved, which was playing music, while also technically doing my homework at the same time. So this was a huge loophole for me, so I jumped on it. So at the beginning of the year, Mr. Provenzano, oh whoops, Mr. Provenzano said that we had to come up with a set goals for the end of the year. So my goals were, was to learn six different genres of music, three of these genres being percussion and three of these genres being guitar. So since I've been drumming for a long time, I picked up my three drumming genres within about two weeks. So two weeks in, I was halfway done with my project. Like This is awesome. I love this. Halfway done, I'm barely into the school year. And then I thought, okay, I gotta learn guitar now. I gotta learn my three guitar genres. And specifically, those three genres were uh, alternate acoustic genre, a Spanish mariachi genre, and improvisation blues genre. So I got my little teach yourself iPhone app and started to play. And as you just saw here, I picked up uh, alternate, alternative acoustic genre pretty quickly. Okay, yeah, four down, two to go. This is fantastic. I'm three weeks in, I'm rolling. And then I turned to Spanish Miachi guitar. And for those of you who don't know Spanish Miachi guitar, it's a lot of finger picking and moving up and down the fretboard. And I made some progress there, so I just wanted to share this with you guys. Okay, here we go. All right. So as you can see, I didn't make it very far on that one. Um, yeah, please laugh. I'm a little nervous. I need some support here. <laughs> so here I am, three weeks into my project, and I was toast. I was, I was going to fail this project, which means I was going to fail the class. It would mess up my transcript, mess up my grade point average. I would go to the wrong college, marry the wrong person, have the wrong kids, live in the wrong community. So my life was ruined because I couldn't play Spanish mariachi guitar, right? So I thought, you know, I, I, can't, I can't fail. So I, I went and talked to Mr. Provenzano. And he told me that failure is an option. I thought, no, this, this, is, this is ludicrous. I, I'm a sophomore in high school. I'm an honor student taking AP classes. I'm, I'm a JV football player and a varsity swimmer. I didn't get to where I am now, today, by failing at things. And then I looked back on it. And I realized that, in fact, I did get to where I am now by failing at things, specifically. So this made me look back at my, my 20 time project and my drumming career as a whole. And I came to the conclusion that when I was drumming when I was three years old, I was not very good. So I thought, you know, how did I come from drumming with my feet, mind you, to being the advanced, versatile percussionist that I am now? And through thinking about it, I realized that every time I played something bad when I was younger, I didn't think of it as failing. I wasn't a drumming failure at three years old. I was just experimenting with the drums. And that's what learning really is. And it really should be, is experimenting. So through examining my 20 time project and the other failures that I've had in my life, I came to the conclusion that failure is, in fact, an essential part of learning, growing, and succeeding in the long run. Now this is not an idea to, a new idea to everybody. But it's a new idea to me. The most successful people in the world have already figured this out. Mr. Max Levchin, the inventor of PayPal, had four great failures, all less bad as he went on, until he had his fifth success, which was PayPal. Mr. Michael Jordan once said that he has failed over and over and over again in his life. And that is why he succeeded. Mr. Thomas Edison said that he had not failed, yet he had found 10,000 ways that do not work. Now the reason that all these, these famous people have been successful is because they realize that they had to take the road on your right. Most people think that you know, the road to success is a straight 
straightforward road that you either pass or you fail. But the most successful people in the world and throughout history have figured out that you have to take the road on your left, or I'm sorry, my left, your right. That the road to success is, is long and it's going to have a lot of twists and turns and bumps in it. Those twists and turns and bumps that you're going to run into are failures. But the trick is after each one of these failures is to pick yourself up and dust yourself off and learn from this failure and keep going after it. Now, I read a, after doing some research about my project and thinking about what I have to do, Mr. Seth Godin wrote an article uh, and he said he proposed the ten trillion dollar question. After I fail, what then? So I looked at my failures throughout my life and specifically my 20 time project. And I came to the conclusion that I, every time I failed, I took a certain amount of steps. These steps included I had to accept the failure that I had just had, like, okay, cope with the fact that I had just failed, all right. I had to reflect on what I had just done. Then I had to reevaluate and redefine the goals that I had set. And then I had to move forward afterwards. Now, I had a very, my most popular blog post, I came to a great realization. And I wrote it down in it. It was, I am going to fail at my goal for my project, but I'm going to succeed in my purpose. Now the goal for my project, I did fail pretty miserably at my goal for my project. But I did in fact succeed at the purpose. And the purpose of my project was to explore music. That was my initial idea. And I did just that. I learned how to play, you know, at least one genre on the guitar and numerous more drumming genres. So if I could leave you guys with one thing today, it's that you are going to fail in your life. I don't care who you are, you're going to fail. But the key to being successful after these failures is you have to pick yourself up and learn after these failures and keep moving on after them. So I want to leave you with a quick word from my three-year-old self. Thank you very much. Thank you. I just said thank you very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.